Okay, I'm getting ready for the uh, first bird. And I've got this uh, first test assembly done. So as you can see, you got a three and a half inch round burn chamber, 3.1 inch square horizontal uh, fire tube, the feed box. I'm going to mount that onto this pallet. I was going to do this one, but in the meantime, I'm uh, getting ready to build another whole assembly. So I've got some uh, molded concrete here. I'm going to start assembling. So I'm going to move this over to this pallet once it warms up and thaws out. And yeah, so from here, we're going to put this can basically over top, upside down. It's going to go over top. It's going to seal up against this. And then this is the exhaust tube. This is out of my military tent stove. It's a nesting tube. So hopefully it fits this 6x5 processor. I haven't tested it. I suspect this is a little bit big. Um, so I'll end up just crimping it in a little extra to fit the tube. Yeah, as you can see, I think it's... No, oh, it's gonna work. Look at that. Finally something went easy. So I'll assemble all this and get ready to do a, a burn. Probably be a couple of days because uh, this cement isn't all cured yet, but it's close, so. Okay, assembly is all done. Just waiting for everything to dry, silicone to dry. And of course, remember this is just a testing unit. So here you can see the finished firebox uh, assembly. So I'm going to smooth this out and build a lid on top. Uh, the lid will be airtight. I've got gasket material for a wood stove and I'll put that around that ring there. This is the, of course the top, this is actually simulating the top plate because I don't have, I don't want to make it permanent. I'm going to just put this piece of plate on top. I use these bolts to adjust. I'll do a different height tests. Um, right now we're set for the same area as the fire riser and the fire tube. So this is uh, uh, 7 eighths of an inch. Results in the same area as the entire assembly. Over here you can see this is the Arduino. And uh, I've got a big gasket to go on top of the can and the probe. So the probe just threads into that hole and it uh, touches the top of the plate. The Arduino, I hook it up to my laptop and when I turn on the polling, it'll just uh, gather data every five seconds. I've got a program in there that transmits the temperature every five seconds. With a little gasket, you can see there's a gasket on the bottom of this. So this gets sealed onto there. This whole can goes over top and there's an opening cut right here and that slips over top of this spot. These are the guides and this one actually turns to lock the lip down. Yeah, and then the exhaust is here and you can see I've got uh, the tubing ready to go. Tubing goes on there and yeah, it's ready. Just got to wait for all the silicone to dry and I uh, should leave this a couple more days, at least a day or two, to uh, finish setting. So while that's setting, I'm just going to do the work to smooth this out and so I can put a lid on it and it'll just be a piece of plywood as a lid. Um, needs to be airtight though, so I'll put some more gasket material on that. And the other thing I need to do is cut an air hole. I'll put an air hole in right here for the air inlet. Yeah, pretty easy. This stuff is great to work with. Uh, because there's no sand or gravel in the aircrete, you can just cut it with a hacksaw blade, just using it in, your, in a gloved hand. And then I use mixed concrete to uh, seal it up and to join the pieces together. And that seems to work great. The mixed concrete here is not aircrete, so it's a little bit more dense than the aircrete itself. So when you go to cut it or sand it or file it, I use a coarse file and uh, 
So when you go to do that, you have to you know, kind of get a little more energy needed. So, okay. So the next step, we'll do a test and hopefully, hopefully it actually runs. All right. It's really cold out, uh, but it's been sitting for oh, about a week. So I thought I'd do an initial burn and uh, it's, it's working okay as far as the firing of it it's you know but the cement cracked right away this cylinder you can see the big crack on the other side all the way down so we'll see I guess we'll just let it sit and see what happens with the horizontal piece it could be just the fact of this piece being cylindrical and how it was uh you know cast or something i don't know but uh i've got the other burn chamber built for square so if i have to i'll cut that off and attach the other style well here's some more video of the uh the failure so i because the cracking got really bad as you can see there's cracks 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 massive crack um, if you look inside here, you can see it's burning great, but of course it's not controlling the amount of wood, the fire based on um, the demand. So the box is too big maybe versus the size of the feed tube there or the burn chamber. And uh, it's actually burning the lid. It's got a gasket. But for the fun of it, I figured, well, since it's a complete failure, let's stoke it up and burn it and see what happens. So interestingly enough, though, how? Don't touch that part. If you look inside, you can actually see... I better put gloves on. You can actually see the flames coming up. Yeah. So I don't know if you got a, a look at that, but they are actually coming up and hitting that plate as they were earlier. So anyways, I gotta let it burn out now and uh, yeah, just let it burn out and then we'll make it out of steel. <laughs> I don't think there's really too much options there. Yeah, there's another massive crack over here. You can see just completely opened up cracking all cracked there maybe I didn't let it dry long enough but it was really an experiment and you know this is Portland cement so it's not rated for temperature obviously we know why now so anyways do a post-mortem on this once it's burnt out and cooled off okay so she's burnt out now still uh, some coals in the bottom as you can see and you can also see the massive failure the massive cracking everything just fell apart so it did burn okay I never did get to a clean burn never got hot enough um, I think of course what was happening was it was building too much fire in here and uh, too much wood was burning at one time and couldn't get out the exhaust so either i needed to you know uh limit the air intake perhaps some more or i don't know for sure anyways i'll rebuild it all in steel it's the way to go and i'm going to go straight to a four inch square diameter because i have some four inch square tubing so i'm going to build a four inch square tubing vertical riser and i'll do a four inch square tubing horizontal section and then for the I'll do four inch square upright for just a few inches and then I'll just use some sheet metal and build a, a box the same as this same idea as this one I want to try this concept again I've seen other guys I'm going to go back to YouTube and do some more videos watch more videos I've seen guys with fire boxes like this so I'm just not sure if my problem was too much air or it was the material or maybe i just didn't have the firebox itself the uh feed chamber big enough 
but yeah i'm gonna take all this i'm gonna take all my molding i'm gonna take it all back to the fire pit and light it on fire and get rid of it all <laughs> yeah the garbage can works good so uh, you can see from the heat this is the galvanizing coming off uh so some of the heat was coming off from the plate was because i did have the plate on here like so so the wall of it is about here so it's pretty close which is fine it's going to happen when it gets hot and uh yeah everything here worked good the exhaust worked good i didn't use high temp silicone here because i was just for testing purposes uh, might have to we'll see anyways That'll be the end of this one about uh, using cement, the aircrete, to do the firebox, to do this the stove. I'm gonna go to steel, I'm gonna use uh, metal, and I'll insulate it with vermiculite. Wrap it, or I'll, I'm not sure. Build some kind of thing to put it all inside vermiculite so that, that this vertical and horizontal section are all insulated, including back here. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, yeah, this one goes on the fail list. <laughs>